I do this program with people which is called CEO coaching where I coach entrepreneurs, businessmen, leaders of companies into taking their organization to the next level. As a part of this, there is one question that I ask everybody and that is how do you define success? What is success to you? And I get various answers. I also believe that everybody in the world should have clarity on this word called success. You don't cl have clarity on love, chalega. You don't have clarity on fun, chalega. But you don't have clarity on success. You might be a little lost in life. So here is my question to all of you, and I would love to know your answers. Uh, in one sentence, if you have to define what is success to you, what would it be? You can write it down in the chat boxes. Hmm. Peace of mind. Huh? Hmm. Beautiful. Now, let me share with you what I think of success. And this is especially true for people who are very young. It will definitely work beautifully well for you. So as young as Dr. Amrita Pagga or as young as Kaira. Kaira is two years old. Listen to this and I believe it's brilliant. Success is making those who believed in you look brilliant. Success is making those who believed in you look brilliant. I would say for each one of us, if somebody has believed in us and if somebody saw some potential in us, and if somebody told us that I think this is what you're capable of doing and if you can make that happen, that is success. So it can be an addict who thinks I cannot give up on alcohol. Somebody says to kar sakta hai and they give up on alcohol. They make that person who believed in them look brilliant. It could be somebody who is really overweight. Somebody looks at them and says, you can become fit, super fit. In one year's time, you will stun everybody with the fitness that you have got. And it happens. That's success. If somebody looks at a businessman and says, you can grow 10x in the next three years. And that person makes it happen. So for a little while, let's not define success on the basis of what we want to achieve. Let's also define success on the basis of what others saw in us and we made it happen. So every answer that you gave about success is true, is right. Every definition that you came up with is also to the point. Absolutely bullseye. But keep in mind this definition also. Success is making those who believed in you look brilliant. KMM believes in you. Hence, gives you certain responsibilities. It could be as an AC, it could be as a speaker, or it could be in some other task. If you have to forget about KMM for some time, then think about your life. And I'm sure this sentence will resonate very deeply with you. Success is making those who believed in you look brilliant. Was it your parents who believed in you? Was it your spouse who believed in you? Today, is it your children who believe in you? Is it a partner? Is it a friend? 
and ultimately that creator believed in you hence gave you birth he believed in you and gave you potentials success would be when somebody looks at you and thinks about the creator and says brilliant work so with this background of success today let's discuss about the mantra of success right now what i have discussed about is the attitude towards success how do we define success so let's now actually start today's training program so so far has been a built up of the session this is not going to come inside the classroom except that brief question called tell me what is success to you let the children inside the classroom speak a little about what is success for them and then you can speak about success is making those who believed in you look great here is a question if you had a magic wand and if the power of the magic wand was to make everything happen what would you wish again use the chat box and send us your answers if you actually had a magic wand or if you had this aladdin ka chirag type ka chirag and you could rub it and a genie would appear and whatever you wanted has to become real tell me what would your wish be ah i saw extraordinary answer which gladdens my heart sandeep and vandana right kmm should be there in every school amazing do you know when me jo tahir bhai uh, tai we met apj abdul kalam and when he came to know about keep moving movement and when he read the book that we had written this is exactly what he said something like kmm should be there in every school of our country and now that you write that it reminds me if we can make it happen apj would look like a genius so it's our responsibility to get it done now beautiful thank you for that reminder now here is a very beautiful thing if you had a magic wand and the power of the magic wand was to make everything happen if all our desires would be met immediately what would happen to this world if all our desires if your desire and my desire had to become real like this let's say you had a genie you said a desire the desire became a reality immediately the whole world actually would become a chaos so the simple rule of the world is you should not get what you desire because if you get what you desire the whole world will become a chaos what do i mean let's say if i ask you this question who is the hottest actress today men who are sitting with their wives i recommend you should not answer who is the hottest actress today you know i asked this question to aushu <coughs> and aushu immediately said immediately without any hesitation rebecca ferguson and i am like who is this girl he said mission impossible and me and aushu had seen that movie the latest movie recently so he said mission impossible that rebecca only and i saw that spark in his eyes and i think somewhere subconsciously he might be thinking to get her would be mission impossible <laughs> now visualize aushu also wants rebecca ferguson and we have another youngster sitting in the office over here called aditya saraya मतलब उसका तो एनर्जी लेवल एकदम मतलब फुल ऑन जोश में रहता है और उसके लिए अभी मतलब लड़कियां ढूंढ रहे हैं हम लोग सपोज ही सेस मी टू मुझे भी वही चाहिए न विजुअलाइज द रूल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इज वॉट एवर यूर डिजायर विल है अब बेचारी रेबेके का क्या होगा वो 
किधर जाएगी आउशु के पास कि आदित्य के पास बोथ ऑफ देम विल गेट हाफ हाफ फॉरवर्ड वन विल गेट लेफ्ट वन विल गेट राइट नाउ विजुअलाइज यू आर ड्राइविंग ऑन द रोड एंड द सिग्नल इज अबाउट टू बिकम एम्बर एंड योर डिजायर इज नो द सिग्नल शुड रिमेन ग्रीन एंड पीपल हु आर कमिंग फ्रॉम द अदर डायरेक्शन देर डिजायर इज ऑल्सो द सिग्नल शुड रिमेन ग्रीन Now what happens? Chaos will happen. Accidents will happen. To prevent chaos, the law of life says, in life, you will not get what you desire. To prevent chaos, the law of life is, in life, you will not get what you desire. The law of life says. in life you will not get what you desire let me give you a few more examples how many of you can say that you are a master to your thoughts matlab wohi khayal aate hain jo tumhe chahiye jo khayal nahi aata hai nahi chahiye woh nahi aata hai how many of us can say we are the masters of our thoughts we are not masters to our thoughts right so thoughts come from every direction and so often the most negative thoughts come jo life mein nahi chahiye na wo thoughts aate bhag bhag ke imagine you are traveling as you are traveling do you have a desire or do you have a thought that uh, oh my god what if i meet with an accident and if i meet with an accident will i die i'm sure many people don't take their vehicles out in spite of having a driving license because of this thought only accident ho jayega mar gaye to now visualize all your thoughts all your desires coming in real next time you take a vehicle out it means you will meet with an accident how about this you are cre- you are carrying a little excess cash Hmm? thanks to modi ji you have to exchange all the 2000 rupee notes that you have and you are carrying that cash ekdam chupke chupke now do you have this thought that someone will come and steal your cash and go away ye ye aisa koi dikhta hai banda bhagte hue koi leke mera paisa leke chala jayega paisa leke chala jayega paisa leke chala jayega now imagine if this is what will become real because you thought about it and it's going to become real क्या हो जाएगा ना इमेजिन दिस यू आर वर्किंग इन अ कंपनी डू यू समटाइम्स हैव अ थॉट दैट यू माइट लूज योर जॉब इमेजिन यू आर हैविंग अ क्लोज रिलेशनशिप डू यू समटाइम्स हैव थॉट दैट इफ देर इज अ मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग द रिलेशनशिप माइट ब्रेक इफ देर इज अ मिसअंडरस्टैंडिंग यू मे नॉट हैव दैट पर्सन इन योर लाइफ एनी मोर and visualize that something like this actually happens where your heart goes through pain and you're scared what if i lose this person now visualize the last one huh? this is the last one you are in an adventure park in that giant wheel and that giant wheel starts moving and it is moving at a good speed do you have a thought What if you are thrown out of the seat? खुल गया तो गिर गया तो Now visualize if what you think, what you desire becomes a reality. What kind of a life will it be? अच्छा since I spoke about Adi and Aushu, and since you are going to school, let's bring the next one also. He likes someone. Hmm? and the two of them are kind of together <laughs> i truly enjoy your company you know bitu jaise aise bole the body language wagara kar kar ke i really enjoy your company and then she says me too hmm now ashu doesn't know how to move ahead so he then says i think we have a little more than friendship friendship ke alawa kuch aur hai and his heartbeat is like 240 beats 
पर मिनट यू नो ह्यूमन हार्ट कैन बीट एट टू ट्वेंटी मैक्स हिज इज गोइंग एट टू फोर्टी मतलब नाउ दैट इज फीलिंग दैट देर इज नो लिमिट्स टू इज लाइफ नो लिमिट्स टू इज हार्ट बीट ही कैन लिटरली हियर इज ओन हार्ट बीट एंड देन ही सेज दैट आई थिंक वी हैव मोर देन जस्ट फ्रेंडशिप एंड शी शी बिकम्स साइलेंट कुछ नहीं बोल रही वो ना इमेजिन वट हाउस यूज थिंकिंग Oh my gosh what have i done i shouldn't have said it and like these most youngsters he might also say shit and then that girl says idiot and she laughs oy hoy can you imagine or oh, some of you need not imagine you have done that Now imagine if all the thoughts and beliefs and desires have to become a reality. Then the moment he started thinking, "Oh my God, now I have lost her," things would have gone for a toss. To ensure there is balance in the world, to ensure that all of us live a sane life, to ensure that life is actually in our favor and not against us because we have negative thoughts. there is this law of existence and the law says in life you do not get what you desire in life you do not get what you desire you see this animation there kabhi el gir jata hai kabhi e gir jata hai bhagte rehte ho idhar udhar in life you do not get what you desire so then what happens in life we get what we deserve to ensure our life is good to ensure we don't we don't destroy ourselves to ensure that negativity doesn't consume us some research says that out of 100 thoughts we have 91 are negative so imagine what is the percentage of a great life if that is the truth so to ensure that we actually have a huge possibility of living a good life and reach the success that we discussed right in the beginning life has given us this rule this law that you will not get what you desire you will get what you deserve it can sometimes hit us hard because we have worked hard and we have not got what we wanted but then we have to ask ourselves a very simple question what should i do to deserve it now listen carefully life does not ask you ever what do you desire life only ask this question what do you deserve whenever you want success and if you're not getting success don't cry don't complain don't think it may not be for me the only question the sensible question that you need to ask yourself is what do i need to do so that life believes i deserve it so if you say i want to wake up with peace of mind in the morning what do i need to do to deserve waking up in the morning with peace of mind if spontaneously i see negative everywhere if my mind is all about what did somebody say which was wrong then i will not wake up with peace of mind i will wake up irritated so it's not the world which is wrong it is my thinking process which needs to become better so that i start deserving what i desire so life qualifies us by watching us and asking is this fellow doing what is necessary to deserve what he or what she desires you know in school when we write answers and this is relevant to the children inside the classroom we write some answers and we desire certain marks teacher gives me marks based on what we deserve and here is a big one sometimes an overworked teacher may make a mistake life never makes a mistake 
एन ओवर टीचर में मेक अ मिस्टेक अ डिस्ट्रैक्टेड पेरेंट में मेक अ मिस्टेक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टेलीकम्युनिकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी माइट मेक मिस्टेक्स लाइफ नेवर मेक्स अ मिस्टेक so the rule of life is i don't get what i desire i get what i deserve now if this is known to us that i will not get what i desire i'll get what i deserve what do i need to do to deserve what i desire you know latest sensation in the world of cricket is yashasvi jaiswal son of a paripuri vendor and how he stream rolled everybody else who's playing brilliantly well like ruturaj gaikwad shubman gill and got his position as an opener in the team you study his life and you'll find it is not just what he desires because thousands of people desire to play for our country but some deserve it so how can in kmm we give a formula to children and through the formula tell them here just do this and if you do this you will move from what you desire to you deserve that how, how do we bridge the gap between what i desire and what i deserve you know wo aladdin ka wo ek aapne agar कहानी सुनी है इफ यू रेड दैट देर यूज टू बी अ खुलजा सिमसिम काइंड ऑफ मंत्रा एंड दैट मंत्रा वुड ओपन द केव्स ऑफ ह्यूज ट्रेजर्स सिमिलरली इन दिस सेशन यू विल डिस्कस विद द चिल्ड्रन द मंत्रा व्हिच टेक्स यू फ्रॉम व्हाट आई डिजायर टू व्हाट आई डिजर्व दिस मैजिक मंत्रा of convert what you desire to something that you deserve has four words and let me introduce one word at a time to you the first word in this mantra is efforts if there is something that i desire i have to put the required efforts when i coach certain ceos and owners of organization ironically sometimes i find their expectation is only from their team not from themselves the team should come on time i won't the team should work hard i won't the team should live by a schedule i won't the team should follow a process i won't the team should have a solution oriented mindset i will have a blame oriented mindset the team should be sincere i will do as it pleases the team should be a master to their emotions i will have vagabond emotions which means it's traveling all the time and everywhere the team should talk to each other respectfully i will disrespect anybody whom i want as a result of which the organization never functions to its potential everybody moves into survival mode that when that tsunami happens take care tsunami goes live life the way you want if i want to create a great organization everything that i expect from my people i should be a role model for the same you see that if i want to be fit i cannot delegate exercise to somebody else similarly if i want to get get great marks i have to put efforts to study i have to put efforts to understand i have to put efforts to write the exam properly and so is the case with love so even in love you have to put the efforts we live in a world where people are hesitant to put the efforts you know why because the second word first word is effort the second word which is to me the most profound word is self motivation what kind of effort efforts that are self motivated 
वेन दी एफर्ट्स आर सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड आई एम सेल्फ ड्रिवन मेरे को कोई और नहीं चाहिए भगाने के लिए वेन दी एफर्ट्स आर सेल्फ ड्रिवन आई सस्टेन माई मोटिवेशन लिसन टू दिस वेरी केयरफुली इफ माई एफर्ट्स आर नॉट सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड आई विल गिव अप एट दी फर्स्ट ऑब्स्टेकल If there is any one of you who has this habit of starting something but then giving it up, or starting something and not taking it to completion, jumping into many courses but not becoming a master, initiating something but not taking it to its conclusion, it means your effort was not self motivated. It was just a simple exploration. करके देखते हैं. and the first obstacle we give up second if the efforts are not self driven we will not give our 100% we don't give our 100% and third when efforts are not self driven we don't enjoy putting those efforts एंड यू डोंट एंजॉय एफर्ट तुम कितने दिन करोगे सो यू फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन समबडी यू कैन स्टडी रिलेंटलेसली एंड समबडी यू डज नॉट स्टडी रिलेंटलेसली यू विल फाइंड दीज थिंग्स दे आर सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड दे डोंट गिव अपट दी ऑब्स्टिकल तो कुछ चीज नहीं समझ में आया दे डोंट से अरे नहीं समझ में आ रहा है छोड़े यार दूसरा सब्जेक्ट निकाल नहीं समझ में आ रहा है आई विल स्टिल गिव अ लिटल मोर I enjoy the idea of understanding, so they will not give up till they have understood and got that subject. So the law of life is: you will not get what you desire; you will only get that which you deserve. And for me to bridge the gap between what I desire and what I deserve, the first thing which comes in handy is effort. What kind of effort? Self-driven effort. when i am self driven even when obstacles are there i don't give up and here is another very fine difference which i want all of you to catch very beautifully life does not want us to put in efforts that are required according to us it wants us to give whatever is required so not what is required according to us mai ek bar padega it says as much as required you want to give it up okay now here is an example can i request all of you to stretch thoda stretch ha huh? theek hai thank you very much now stretch a little more than what you did last time pura ekdam matlab बॉडी खुल जाना चाहिए पूरा ना डिड यू डू अ लिटिल मोर द सेकेंड टाइम और डिड यू डू द मैक्सिम पॉसिबल द फर्स्ट टाइम सो यू नो वॉट इट मीन्स द फर्स्ट टाइम आई डिड नॉट गिव एवरीथिंग आई हैड थोड़ा बचा के रखते आराम से कितना होता है उतना एफर्ट करने का जरूरत कितना है उतना करने का जितना बोला है उतना कर दिया ना बस हो गया वी आर नॉट यूज टू गिविंग आवर हंड्रेड परसेंट वी वॉन्ट टू गिव टेन परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट सिक्सटी परसेंट एटी परसेंट बट वी वॉन्ट हंड्रेड परसेंट रिजल्ट नो दोज काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट्स विल नॉट हेल्प अस टू मूव फ्रॉम वॉट वी डिजायर टू वॉट वी डिजर्व then we can only go and watch mission impossible and rebecca ferguson dosti nahi hogi apna pan nahi banega uske liye america jana padega milna padega 800 rupaye mein tum hall mein ja ke dekhoge to kaise hoga when i say self driven effort it is not that i will do my best 
but I will do whatever it takes. I'll do my best, man. Whatever it takes. Those of you who came for the KMM orientation session, very clearly it was written, whatever it takes. Don't give your best. Do whatever it takes. Which means, now you've not created a limitation around your effort. You are saying whatever it takes. In every classroom, there are three kinds of students. The first student is somebody who will do more than what the teacher expects. The second student is somebody who will do what the teacher expects. And the third will say, I will do whatever I want irrespective of what the teacher expects. Which category do you belong to is a question you will ask students inside the classroom. Are you a person who says, Mere ko jo karna hai, karega, teacher ko jo bolna hai, bolna Or are you a person who says, teacher ne jitna bola hai, utna mein karega? Or are you a person who says, if the teacher has asked me to solve 10 problems and come back to class, I will solve at least 12 and go to class. Now let me take this opportunity to ask you this question. Every KMM volunteers also falls in one of these three categories. Classically, let's say we say, on a KMM session day, please take your selfie and put it in the group. Do you do what the teacher expects out of you? Some of us will do that. Some of us will also watch Hamare group mein kisne kisne nahi dala hai. And they will message them or call them and say, Tira bhi tak aya nahi, tu dal jaldi. They are doing more than what is expected out of them. And there are some who are saying, Ar, dal ta hun na yaar. Aa gya hun na yaar. Aya nahi dala toh kya ho ga yaar. It's almost like teasing people, ke aja bhid ja mere se. So is the case with mocks. KMM expects you to complete your mocks by Saturday. So that you can rethink, relive, rethink, relive Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. When you go inside the classroom to deliver, you have gone through revision number 5, 6, 7. You don't have to remember how to take the session. Now you are living that session. So that is why the request is complete your mocks by Saturday. Do you do more than what it takes? Are you saying to your AC that uh, allow me to give the mock on Tuesday itself in the first session in the AC meeting that we have? Now you are doing more than what is expected. Or till Saturday you complete your mock. You are doing as per expectations. Or witness this the session and Tuesday evening you call the AC and say, Mock ka jarot hai kya? मैं कर रहा हूँ ना दो तीन साल से मेरे को आता है ना Why should I give a mock? I am a public speaker and I am a trainer for the last twenty years. जरूरत क्या है? So, which category do you belong to? You do more than what KMM expects out of you. You do what KMM expects out of you or you make the coordinators, you make the AC, you make the management of KMM run behind you, you keep them in uncertainty and give them a tough time. You don't have to give answer at all, but something that you need to think. Because KMM will be a micro of the macro called life. Which means this attitude that kai ko karne ka hai, hai kya, will ensure that you don't give your whatever it takes to the dreams that you have in life. 
and therefore you might end up like somebody who's sulking all the time and complaining all the time thinking life is unfair but it's just the mantra of life you don't get what you desire you get what you deserve so in life you don't get what you desire you get what you deserve and the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve are these four mantra four words a effort second what kind of effort self driven effort i believe between what we do and what we can do all our issues in life gets out between what we do and what we can do all the issues of our life can get sorted i can do much more you could have stretched much more but i hold myself back i can love more i can eat consci- more consciously i can plan much better so between what i actually do and what i can do all the issues of life can get solved so let your efforts always be self driven so in life you don't get what you desire you get only that which you deserve and the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve is self driven efforts now in the class emphasize a lot on self driven we don't wait for somebody else to motivate us yes self driven we don't wait for a great teacher to come and ensure we do well we are self driven we don't wait for a easy paper to come so that we can score well we are self driven we don't wait for everything right to fall into place in our life we are self driven look even if there are obstacles and life will give us obstacles because it is testing us that do we deserve it or not if you want to find out whether somebody deserves an increment or not you will test them those of us who have grown up children before we hand over our children to their spouse or their love we will find out if they deserve our child or not in life you don't get what you desire you get what you deserve and the gap between what you desire and what you deserve is self driven effort and i say this example every time i take about self driven efforts visualize that i invite all of you for a full day picnic full day picnic and as it was tum log aa jao life school office and from life school office we will sit in buses and we will travel to a beautiful place in pauna dam and there we are going to have a great time together how many of you will come full day picnic now visualize that we are supposed to leave at 6 o'clock 6 am and some of you start coming by 5 5:15 5:30 5, because tumko pura anand lene ka you don't want to miss anything you want to be there to welcome everybody else who's going to come and tahira has ensured that the bus driver came with the bus not in the morning but the night itself ke subah subah agar wo ghar mein utha nahi to pata nahi kahan se usko pakad ke leke aayenge bhai tu yahi pe aake raat ko so ja 500 rupaye zyada le le humse so the bus driver came over here and he slept in the bus so let's say the first person to reach over here is kanchan dagre so kanchan reaches over here and she says are wah bus wala aa gaya she does tak 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 are bus wale bhaiya ko zara jagao are bhaiya uth jaiye abhi hamare log aane chalu ho jayenge chaliye 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 bus driver also gets up thoda muh dho ke aata hai aur ekdam ready hai and dheere 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 everybody comes everybody comes and we have decided that the moment the bus is full 50 log baith gaye bus ko ravana kar do dusre 50 log aayenge dusra bus ko ravana karenge bus is full 
अमित कामले टेक्स चार्ज ऑफ दैट बस एंड सेज अभी इसको मैं नेविगेट करके लेके जाएगा सिंस आई वर्क इन गूगल आई एम द बेस्ट पर्सन टू टेक यू ओवर देर विथ माई एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ गूगल मैप्स आई विल नेविगेट दिस बस ना द बस ड्राइवर अटेम्प्ट टू स्विच ऑन द इग्निशन वो चाबी घुमा रहा है लेकिन वो इंजन की आवाज ही नहीं आ रही द बस ड्राइवर इज पजल ही रियलाइज दैट ये ठंड में ना रात में ना बैटरी इज डेड अब बस को थोड़ा धक्का मारना पड़ेगा एनी वन ऑफ यू हैव यू एवर डन दैट इन लाइफ पुश द बस वेन द बस इज नॉट स्टार्टिंग है ना सम ऑफ अस हैव थ्रू दैट सो ना विजुअलाइज रितेश मोटिवेट्स एवरीबडी एंड सेज कम ऑन वी डोंट गेव चांस टू एक्सरसाइज टूडे सो अलॉन्ग विथ मी पुशिंग ऑफ द बस इज गोइंग टू बी योर एक्सरसाइज एंड यू मोटिवेट्स एवरीबडी इफ यू आर इन दैट बस would you volunteer to get down and push that bus so that the bus starts hmm oh, so, so we would definitely volunteer right because we have to go to mulchi full day picnic is there yaar aise kaise so you get down and you start pushing the bus the bus moves for about 10 15 meters the driver does something to the ignition the battery catches and there is a hip hip hore are maza aa gaya ritesh thank you so much ye and you reach mulchi have a great time so this is one scenario right the other scenario we are all sitting in the bus the bus is not starting the bus driver gets down to find out kya ho gaya and he finds that raat ko somebody has stolen the engine wo to so gaya tha acche se samjha hi nahi raat ko somebody stole the engine in the bus driver says but my promise is my promise engine is not there but i will still take you there the only request is can you push the bus till mulshi which is about 60 kilometers away but main bus mein leke jayega but i need a little help from you can you push the bus till mulshi now how many of you will get down and push the bus till mulshi which is let's say 60 kilometers away nobody right nobody wants to do that now that is the difference between somebody who is self driven and somebody who is not driven you don't have an engine inside you you don't have drive and you want somebody to keep driving you ro tumko koi chahiye chal beta lag ja chal beta lag beta oot the mother is telling the child beta oot ne ma बेटा तेरे को स्कूल जाना है नहीं मामा को स्कूल नहीं जाना है बेटा उठ अभी नहीं उठना मेरे को बेटा स्कूल में सब वेट कर रहे तेरा नहीं मामा को नहीं उठना एंड देन द चाइल्ड सेज गिव मी वन रीजन व्हाई आई शुड गो टू द स्कूल एंड द मदर सेज बेटा इट्स बिकॉज यू आर द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ द स्कूल प्रिंसिपल बन गया है बट अभी भी रिलेक्टेंस टू गो टू द स्कूल आर सम ऑफ यू लाइक दैट अबाउट योर वर्क बेटा उठ यू नीड समबडी टू ड्राइव यू एवरी डे some of you are so fat you can be used as a road roller on the roads exercise ke liye abhi bhi reluctance and we tell others mai ko subah uthana theek hai mere ko subah ek phone maar fir main uthta bahut kuch maarunga main sirf phone kyun and then somebody comes and wait chalo 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 exercise ke liye gym ke liye jane ka nahi aaj mera mood nahi chalo chalo gym uthne ka nahi mutne ka bolana hai you attack that person who is telling you to do something where the only person who will benefit in the world is you you are like that cat who is stinking but who does not want to take bath and if somebody attempts to take that cat to bath they will rebel like crazy and make everything dirty 
we don't have self drive to effort can never be top class then how will results be top class i sell 1 gram jewelry and i expect 24 carat rates this reluctance to put in self driven effort is the biggest barrier between you and your dreams unfortunately some of us are surrounded by love so the spouse loves you a lot your parents love you a lot and therefore they make life too easy for you how would it be if if you're not fit ghar mein khana nahi hai jao you have not done a whole day's work why do you need food you have not deserved the food for today if only we had situations like this or people like that who would call your bluff and say bakwas ban sab cheez phokat mein chahiye pehle chahiye aur baad mein kaam nahi karega kyunki mood nahi hai in life you don't get what you desire you get what you deserve and you know the magic what happens when i put less effort i get very less results and then sometimes i say tabhi theek nahi and i put even less results what is required is not what the teacher expects but more than what the teacher expects and over here teacher is life in some aspect of your life where you have beautiful incredible dreams where you would really like to do something significant and in the context of kmm let's say some of you want to play a critical role in taking kmm to every school in our country simple question what is the effort you are willing to put ye main idea dega kaam tum karo main gym ka membership tere liye bhar dega tu ja gym fitness mere ko milna chahiye aha ah, ah, ah. don't you know bhagwan had to take vardhan himself and come over here when he wanted to do things right if god had to come on this planet to do things right to usse bhi bada hai you won't do effort and things should happen in your life in life you don't get what you desire you get what you deserve and the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve self driven efforts now let's go back to session number 1 for word number 3 session number 1 we discussed about many products and companies anybody remembers nokia first product so now we imagine self motivated effort self driven effort in toilet paper but toilet paper hi banayega aur kuch nahi toilet paper hi banaunga ज्यादा से ज्यादा हुआ ना तो एक डाइवर्सिफिकेशन करूंगा इसब गोल का प्रोडक्शन में और ये टू इंश्योर दैट माय प्रोडक्ट गेट्स यूज्ड आई विल सेल दोज मेडिसिन ना पेट साफ हो जैसे व्हेन यू व्हेन यू स्टार्ट ऑन अ जर्नी there is no road which will take you straight to the destination every now and then there is a take a left take a right take a u turn take a pass go to another route and from there take a u turn and then take a right koi bhi rasta aisa hota hai what does it mean it means our self driven efforts 
will be consistently refined. Now look at this. This guy, Novak Djokovic, says 36 is the new 26. मतलब क्या statement मारा है उसने? He's 36 years old. He's played more Grand Slams than anybody in the history of tennis. He has won more Grand Slams than anybody in the history of tennis. And today evening he might create that record of five consecutive Wimbledon titles, which Roger Federer is the only person who's won it before. He says 36 is the new 26. And as opponents come and exploit his possible weaknesses, he refines his game. He refines it again. He refines it again. Imagine sports. Somebody has a great outswing ball. Great outswing ball. And he's getting batsmen out. Now the batsman will know, iska outswing bot khatarna ke. Let's learn how to tackle that. Now the batsman will adapt and become better. Now if this bowler does not refine it and develop an inswinger also or a yorker also or a deceptive slower ball also now that bowler will become ineffective because his best ball was outswinger now batsmen have learned how to play it if he does not refine it he's gone he's dead many of us have created a formula for some results that we have in life and we desperately hope the same thing should work forever. Consistent refinement is required. If I don't refine, then slowly my success will start petering off. So the name of the game is refinement. And for that, look at the visual that Harsha has given to you. The first phone is the phone on the extreme left and now the next phone was refined and then it was refined then it was refined remember many of you will remember na ghar mein wo kala wala phone aata tha usme ungli dal ke apan ghumate the kat 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 now the company which made those if they did not refine themselves then the next button phone wouldn't have come do you know bharti airtel their first product was a button phone that company got created only to create telephones. It was a telephone manufacturing company. And then cellular phones came. And they said, the future is going to be cellular phones. It is not the government who is going to give out phone lines to people. Anybody can give phone lines to people. Let us refine our business objective from being a telephone manufacturer to a telecom service provider. And today it's $10 billion worth of company. Refined it. iPhone 3 which came and today the iPhone 14 which is there. Refined product. No destination ever comes in a straight route. We know that when we drive. We need to know the same when we drive our life. In life, you don't get what you desire. You only get what you deserve. And the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve is refined, self-driven efforts. Each one of these companies that we discussed in the earlier session continued to refine their product and product lines and they went on to become who they are today. And here are three very, very big points, very, very big advantages of people who are willing to refine themselves. Three very, very big points. And these three points will also show to you whether you are actually refining uh, as you live your life or not. Point number one, when you are confident that you will learn and improve, you are not scared of failures. Anybody who is scared of failure is fundamentally a person who is saying, 
आई डोंट थिंक आई कैन लर्न आई डोंट थिंक आई कैन इंप्रूव देर होप इन लाइफ इज वट एवर आई नो आई विल डू एंड थ्रू दैट आई शुड गेट सम ब्रिलियंट रिजल्ट The child who gets sixty percent in their studies today cannot say, "Mera ek pattern hai, main itna mehnat karta hai." Somehow with this, I should get ninety eight point eight percent. The child has to refine something. Maybe the way they pay attention inside the class, maybe the way they take notes, maybe the way they revise, maybe the way they take help in learning, maybe the quantity of effort they are putting. कहीं कुछ तो रिफाइनमेंट चाहिए प्रोग्रेस इज नथिंग बट रिफाइनमेंट वी सेंड चंद्रयान वन डिंट वर्कआउट चंद्रयान टू डिंट वर्कआउट वी कुडेंट लैंड ऑन द मून वी वेंट सो क्लोज टू द मून नाउ चंद्रयान थ्री नाउ सी दिस वेन आई एम कॉन्फिडेंट आई विल लर्न एंड इंप्रूव आई एम नॉट स्केर्ड ऑफ फेलियर्स एंड इफ आई एम स्केर्ड ऑफ फेलियर्स आई विल नॉट इवन टेक एन इनिशिएटिव If Chandrayaan three feels, what will the world think about me? Chhod jaane de. The world doesn't bother about one which failed. The world does not bother about two which failed. Three might succeed, three may not succeed. But the seventh might, the eighth will. If I want what I desire, I desire that India should put. a vehicle on the moon i will give my 100% and more in the first effort chandrayaan 1 did not work out now i find out where do i need to refine myself where is it that i need to improve if i am scared in the first attempt if i fail what will people think of me i will not even take the initiative many people like to dance but we don't go to the dance floor because we are thinking what will people think about me i will be embarrassed i won't even take the initiative when i am open to refining myself i am not scared of failures two when you are open to refining yourself now this is stunning and this is the proof of my life you can laugh at yourself at your mistakes and nobody can hurt you you are immune from hurt you can live by the title of david goggins autobiography which says can't hurt me would you like to live life like that where you can say nobody can hurt me i don't get hurt i am hurt proof why i am hurt proof because i am open to improving myself to kuch kharab ho gaya kisi ne aage bola ye kya bakwas hua hai ha na kuch suggestion do na agle baar kaise acha karu nobody can hurt me if you and me want to do something big in life there will be setbacks there will be failures and if we get hurt then we'll stop trying phir desire into deserve kidhar hai sirf sek chilli ke pulao banate rahenge hum karenge kuch nahi karenge kuch nahi so let's say there is one of us who wants lot of love humko acha lagta hai koi pyar milta hai koi izzat se baat karta hai but we are rough in our communication hamara tone thoda rough hai now if i am a person who says but i want love i want respect and i am willing to refine myself then i make a small change in my approach and slowly and steadily a little more love little more love and one day abundance of love comes into my life but i won't refine myself i won't change myself then the same approach of a little rudeness of a little arrogance your heart is pure your words are not then you don't get love 
you don't get love. So three things happen, which is a proof of my openness to refine myself. One, I'm not scared of failures. Two, I become hurt proof. People can't hurt me. And three, I develop great relationships and create a great network. So in life, you don't get what you desire, you get what you deserve. And the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve refined, self-driven efforts. So the first word is effort. The effort has to be self-driven. And as it is self-driven, keep refining it. And the final word in this mantra is consistency. Consistency. So the rule of life is, you don't get what you desire, you get what you deserve. And the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve is consistent, refined, self-motivated efforts. Consistent, refined, self-driven efforts. C, R, S and E. So now see the visuals over there. I mean, you may not get the chance to do all this inside the classroom. But in consistency, we have put the R glass. The time pass karne wala, wo sand wala. Look carefully and you might find it. Wo timer rehta na? Consistently it keeps going. Refinement, nobody better than Novak Djokovic. Extraordinary. And today evening, those of you who love to see peak performance, you, you want to see how somebody really switches themselves and behaves in the biggest of stages. Today evening, Disney Hotstar, 6.30 p.m., Novak Djokovic will go for doing something most incredible. Five consistent Wimbledon titles and I think 24th Grand Slam title of his life against a youngest opponent, Carlos Altracras. And people say that that 20 year old is too good and just brilliant. So the person who's right, ha, huh, Alcaraz, somebody who's at the top and somebody who's just entering and challenging the top between age and between agelessness, between youth and somebody who's held on to youth for 20 years now, it might be the match of a lifetime today. So those of you who like watching this 6.30 p.m. today, Wimbledon, I, I, I am also a Djokovic fan, so I am also cheering up Novak Djokovic. Come on, Nolan. Come on, Nolan. But this new guy is extraordinary and sometimes the emperor has to give way to the next generation. <clears throat> so let's see what happens. Whatever happens, sports will win. It will be great entertainment. We'll see nerves. We'll see steadiness. We'll see robust nerves. It's going to be beautiful. Hmm? It's going to be beautiful. So in, in refined, we have put Novak Djokovic. And in S, self-driven, you see that girl who's attempting to be fit with those ropes. Now all this only happens with self-drive, where you want to create new boundaries. Where you want to push yourself and say, Pehle jo kiya ho, mujhe hai, main kar sakta hu. I want to explore what else is possible or how much more is this. So there is one thing called fitness and then there is something called athlete fitness. In fitness, you don't have desire, every parameter of your body is matlab, thik thak, that, that you are more or less a fit body. In athlete fitness, your level of performance is much higher than normal people. So in this self-driven, we have put that 
lady over there who's attempting with that rope and that can only happen when you push yourself relentlessly even when the coach says aaj ke liye bus ho gaya and they say ek round aur kar lete yaar so that is self drive and the other is you look at the coach coach says chalo ek round aur aaj bus ho gaya na नेक्स्ट टाइम करेंगे ना वो क्या कल रात को थोड़ा लेट हो गया क्यों लेट हुआ तुमको पहले लेट जाना चाहिए लेटते नहीं हो फिर बोलते हो लेट हो गया इफ आई एम योर कोच ना एल डू कल लेट हो गया क्या चलो आज डबल करो ताकि नेक्स्ट टाइम याद रहे कि अगर लेट सोया ना तो फिर इतना लेट आऊंगा कि उठ ही नहीं पाओगे एंड देन ऑफकोर्स ई एफर्ट fitness nothing can show effort more gloriously than your physical fitness i mean you you can't hide it it's visible right there in front of you right there in front of you anybody can say oh this fellow is disciplined or not he puts the effort or not is he consistent or not dikh jata hai samne samne in life you don't get what you desire you only get that which you deserve and the bridge between the two is consistent refined self motivated effort what is this consistency all about the heart has to beat consistently your heart can't say ek aadhe ghante ka break lu from the time you have been conceived the element was there and once the heart got formed inside the womb of the mother it does not stop beating at best when you are in love you might say i skipped a heart beat usse aada nahi the heart has to beat consistently imagine your discipline your focus in life is like a heart beat relentless jo karna hai wo chhutta nahi we have an extraordinary volunteer whose name is tj nayak somewhere in the tiles you will see a tukaram nayak we call him tj with all the love in the world once we were interviewing tj nayak at life school and now and then we interview some life schoolers who are doing some exceptional things tj runs the comrades effortlessly i think he's already run at least two if i don't know he might have run three also so one of those question that we asked in the interview was tj sometimes doesn't the mind say ke yaar aaj mat bhag thoda kabhi kabhi mood nahi hota hai ke aaj mere ko break lene ka hai bhagne ka nahi hai so tj runs comrades comrades is like 90 km race so tj says ha bahut bar hota hai the mind says don't run today that day i run 5 extra kilometers the work of the mind is to make me a mediocre the work of the mind is to tell me aram kar slip kar zyada mehnat mat kar but i am the master not my idiot mind the mind will think if i drive i'll meet with an accident the mind will think if i sit in that beautiful merry go round i will be thrown off the mind will think if i have money somebody will steal my money but the mind is not always right so when i know my mind is asking me to do something which is wrong and stupid i challenge my mind and say battamiz galat advice de raha hai chal aaj 5 km extra bhag he says slowly my mind gives up and says isko na ye sab limiting thought de ke koi matlab nahi hai बिकॉज इफ आई टेल मत भाग ये पांच किलोमीटर एक्स्ट्रा भगाएगा टीजे थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट दैट हैज कंप्लीटली चेंज माई लाइफ नो मीडिया कर थॉट्स अलाउड नन ऑफ दो सेल्फ रेस्ट्रेनिंग साधारण लाइफ वाला थॉट्स अलाउड आज लग रहा है ना कि थोड़ा लेट जाने का ऑफिस आज ग्यारह साढ़े ग्यारह बजे जाऊंगा चल नौ बजे पहुंच how dare you give me thoughts which will make me less than ordinary forget about ordinary how dare apne mind ko aise challenge kar and that is what kapil dev and imran khan would do 
two bowlers who in the history of the world have bowled the minimum number of no balls. In the entire World Cup history, both of them have not bowled a single no ball. 92% of test matches that they played, not a single no ball. Because in the net practices, when they will bowl, they will not have a no ball even in the net practices. Now that is consistency. You can depend on this person because this person is consistent. You cannot depend on people who are inconsistent. They may be great, but you don't know whether that day of greatness is today or it will come after some time. You, you create a brand through consistency. You create a reputation for yourself through consistency. Coming back on track, consistency is the hallmark of any great person, great initiative or great brand. So many schools, the respect that they have for KMM is because of the consistency with which KMM delivers top quality results. The volunteers are always well behaved and they do good job in the schools. In life, you don't get what you desire. You get what you deserve. And the bridge between the two is consistent, directed, self-motivated efforts. Consistent, refined, self-driven efforts. And in the classroom, you should tell this to children. Consistency creates habits. If consistency is not there, there is no habit. Consistency creates habits. Habits become our nature. When we say what is nature, kya hai? nature is our habit. My, my nature is to love. It means my habit is to love. If I say my nature is to love, then consistently people have experienced love from me. So consistency is nothing but what is our nature. And our nature is nothing but we are consistent in. So if somebody asks, is ka nature kya hai? People will speak about whatever they are consistent in. Habit is the place where we stay. You know that is why there is a word called habitat. Another word for house is habitat. And the word habitat means the place where we stay. So what is habit hai na? Hum rehte hai. Whatever is your habit, that is where we stay. So don't see habit as something inside you. See you inside your habits. So if, you're, if it is your nature to overanalyze, then you are staying in overanalysis. Your habitat is overanalysis. How about consistency being your habitat? Those of us who are in Pune, we go to Vaishali for idli and sambar and dosa and meduvadas. Consistent quality for 30-40 years. There may be people who are making better idlis, but they are not as successful as Vaishali is because Vaishali delivers consistently. So in life, you don't get what you desire. You only get what you deserve. And the bridge between what you desire and what you deserve, consistent, refined, self-motivated effort. To conclude the session, there, is, there are some places in life where we actually implement CRSE brilliantly well, irrespective of who you are. I can guarantee that there are some areas of life where all of us put CRSE. Example, toilet. Uh -huh. I mean, when you sit there, you are consistent. You don't take breaks between that activity. You will never say, Are, aaj mood nahi hai. Ab aa hai to jana hi mood ka baat hi nahi hai. 
it can be the most interesting movie that you are watching like rebecca in mission impossible for our shoe and adi but you can jor se aaiye i'm sure he won't tell his mother or father ke thoda mere ko adult diapers la ke do na mere ko jaane ka mann nahi hai he is not going to ask for an adult diapers he is saying ah mane ka mann nahi jana consistent matlab aaya to jaane ka कंसिस्टेंट और कुछ कुछ लोग तो इतने कंसिस्टेंट है कभी नहीं आया तो भी बोलते एक बार बैठ जा जाके बैठेगा तो आएगा यू नो एस पेरेंट्स वी हैव डन दैट टू आर चिल्ड्रन नो इन द चिल्ड्रन से आज नहीं आ रहा है जाओ बैठो वहां पे बैठो बैठो एंड देन व्हेन द चाइल्ड कम्स आउट आया हा कहा से आया अभी कैसे एक्सप्लेन करने का ऑल ऑफ एस डन दैट विथ पेरेंट्स इफ यूर चिल्ड्रन आर लिस्निंग राइट नाउ दे शुड बी गिविंग यूर लुक्स सच्ची में ना हम लोगों को ऐसे ही ट्रेन किया कंसिस्टेंट देन रिफाइंड यू नो इधर उधर नहीं गिरना चाहिए एकदम प्रॉपर इन केस इट डिड नॉट गो प्रॉपरली डायरेक्टेड देन यू मेक सम स्मॉल एडजस्टमेंट टू थ्री डिग्रीज हियर एंड देर मतलब टिल यू गेट योर मतलब समझ गए ना ऑफकोर्स सेल्फ ड्रिवन I am expecting all the volunteers over here to be very self-driven in this. Are all of us capable of CRSE? Absolutely. How about directing it properly towards what we deeply desire, connecting it back to success? If there is some success that you aspire for, it can be creating a hundred crore company. It can be earning ten crores in a single year. it can be having an employee base of 100 where 100 families are running because of you it can be fitness okay how about this today is 16th of july right we are in the center of july how about till 30th of september how would it be if we launch a fitness drive all of us can create our own fitness goals and let it be something which is a little difficult but we get an opportunity to apply crse what do you say done so what i am going to do is i am going to create a whatsapp group and i am going to share the link in our volunteers group now those of you who want to join join in and towards the evening i am going to write a small message over there which is what is going to be your fitness goal till 30th of september Now you can decide your own goal. If some of you have never jogged for more than one kilometer, you can say, "Before thirtieth of September, I want to jog jog at least five kilometers." Maybe some of you can say, "Bhai, my name is na. Kitne hafte hue? Ten hafte hue na? Ten hafte me ten kilo kam karne ka chal." And I will do whatever it takes. Ten kgs of fat out from my body. Batta means both din se bata hai nikalo usko. Now don't think with fear. think with how did we define success in the beginning making people who believed in you look brilliant that is how we define success success is when you make people who believe in you look brilliant now i believe that people who do kmm are not ordinary people they are extraordinary people they can achieve anything they can overcome any obstacle they can do remarkable stuff in their life so in a very simple way we are going to create this group and in this group we will do some ideation about what is possible but the membership to this group is by tonight you will post over there this is going to be my fitness goal till 30th of september and without fear take a decision and plunge implement crse across the next few days on this topic done how brilliant it will be if we have 100% people who are present over there becoming a part of that kitna maza aayega kitna maza aayega let's do it aur darne ka kya you know this, this is a small test when you go inside the classroom to speak about crse and you are speaking about consistent refined self motivated effort you can also give this example that this is what we have taken up and till 30th of september this is what we are going to achieve kitna maza aayega socho if you are hesitating about 
मैं जिंदगी में कुछ बड़ा कर पाएगा क्या इफ एनी वन ऑफ यूर हियर एंड वेरी नेचुरल थॉट इफ एनी वन ऑफ यू हैज दिस हेजिटेशन जिंदगी में कुछ बड़ा कर पाएगा या कर पाऊंगी क्या आई एम सेंग इट्स टाइम टू टेस्ट दैट लिमिटिंग नेगेटिव सेल्फ बिलीफ टेल योर सेल्फ मैं जिंदगी में कुछ भी कर सकता हूं All that I need is consistent, refined, self-motivated effort. Today I have that mantra which will be like Khulja Sim Sim. What is it that I can't do in life if I have this mantra called consistent, refined, self-motivated effort? कुछ भी कर सकते हैं. You end the session inside the classroom by saying, "Write your CRSE and submit it to double seven four one zero eight five triple zero." Now this is what we are going to do to them, huh? tell them that write your crse what is your goal that which you want to that which you desire which you want to deserve write that goal a goal where you have committed crse to yourself and send it to this and each child who sends this will get a certificate that this child has decided to implement consistent refined self motivated efforts in their life it's going to be a very beautiful thing for children and it's going to be a very beautiful thing for all of you so this is what each one of you is going to do in the volunteers group that we have you are going to share what is that one goal in your life where you have decided to implement crse what is that one goal in your life where you have decided to implement crse you write it in the volunteers group so that everybody can see what you are going to do it gives you motivation it gives others motivation but here is my urge to you please write a goal which you want to deserve and you are going to implement crse on it if it is over a period of time 6 months 1 year it's okay but i would love to know from each one of you what is that dream on which you are going to implement crse fitness is one option besides fitness there can be so many options this is a extremely powerful session you have to deliver this session with power third session again will be super interactive where it's going to be pure fun so this year we are going to alternate one session fun engagement masti next session power again fun engagement masti next session power and let's see how it goes wish you all the best Thank you so much. Have a breathtaking time. Do more than what is expected out of you, and love you all.